Women Win Wisconsin launched a statewide tour rallying for abortion rights. Today, they stopped in La Crosse. News 8 Now's Anna Fisher was there and joins us in studio to tell us more. Anna? Emily, we're less than two weeks away from an election that could determine the fate of Wisconsin's abortion laws. Pro-choice organization Women Win Wisconsin hosted what they called a rally for our rights to get people fired up about the future. My body, my, my body, body, my choice, my choice. Signs of all kinds carrying the same message. <laughs> Nearly 100 people of all different ages coming together in support of reproductive rights. We can't pretend like these issues don't affect us just because we can't vote. From representatives. These are choices and options and decisions we should all have the right to make throughout our lives. To future doctors. Our voices are incredibly imperative, especially in situations like this. To high schoolers. The rally highlighted the upcoming election. Organizers urged people to get to the polls. Just understanding what's on the ballot, um, your right to vote, your polling place. Mine has switched, but if I wasn't paying attention, I would have missed it. Wisconsin Supreme Court candidates Janet Protasevich and Dan Kelly are fighting to replace Justice Rogensack. She retires this July. The person who was voted into the Supreme Court is going to be one of the deciding votes on whether or not abortion is legal in the state of Wisconsin. Protasevich is the liberal candidate. Her win would give the court a new liberal majority. It's also important for me to help remind people of the history um, of the before me and the women that will come after me. This election follows last year's overturning of Roe versus Wade. That decision made abortion a state's right issue. Emily, back to you. Thanks, Anna. The 2023 spring general election is coming up in just over a week on Tuesday, April 4th. And you can find more information about the candidates on our website. That is news8000.com.